ultra luxury is the earth, a tree, a fruit. The farm that we just bought here with my family, it's in honor of my father. It's really been an amazing glue for the family to get together, but it's a certain therapy to just walk down, to see the fruit and touch an avocado. You know, it's been a great experience, the fact that I had two older brothers that my parents were always extremely adamant about the family union. My father always said that if you were lucky, you had basically in your entire life five friends. And I was blessed that I already have two. After living in Boston and Virginia for many years, my brother Julio, he said, come down. So I came down and my eyes just went like wide open. I'm like, oh my God, this is the greatest city in the world. This is so much fun. That same weekend, my life had completely changed when we took that leap of faith and it really never turned back. Everybody in my family, whether it's from my father's side or my mother's side, has always been extremely involved in philanthropy and helping the less fortunate. I've always wanted to give that same example to my children. So we've been involved in orphanages in Latin America and all my three kids actually sponsor a little brother, little sister, and we'll go visit them in the summer and they write each other letters just really to show them that, you know, it's hugely important to really lead by example, if you may. I joined One Sotheby's International Realty back in 2009. In the last four years, year to date, I've closed over $450 million of real estate. I've always been behind some of the most high profile or interesting transactions there, simply because of the fact that I work exclusively the, the top, top properties in the marketplace. If I couldn't work in real estate, or if I didn't have real estate, and I was just, I guess, fortunate enough to have endless amounts of net worth, and I didn't have to worry about actually working. I would dedicate myself to helping people learn and get educated.